We're looking at amazing neighborhoods all around the country if you're thinking of potentially renting or buying a property. Now, the urban area of Soweto is located in Johannesburg and borders on the mining belt of the south, meaning southwestern township. This is a neighborhood that populates over one million people. Today, we have Simon Bray, private property CEO, in studio to discuss this neighborhood with us. Simon, so good to have you here. Great to be back here. Now, when I think about Soweto, I think the best chisinyam in the world. <laughs> but <laughs> so, why yeah. <laughs> it's a huge good. part of it, eh? yeah. <laughs> Definitely, but why is um, Soweto a great neighborhood to kind of think of, you know, putting down roots? Well, I think, I mean, you hit the nail on the head with that one comment. Community is a really, really big thing there. Uh, you know, you just have to walk the streets of Soweto and you get this real feeling of, of vibe and, and the people. Uh, you know, there's, a, there's an energy there that maybe you don't get in some of the other areas, some of the other neighborhoods in South Africa. Mm. Um, I've heard it said that one in four Joburgers actually live in Soweto, wow, so it's just yeah. an incredibly uh, vibrant, rich area, and I think it uh, it can add a lot uh, to the property market as Definitely. well. Definitely. Now, talking about the property market, what are we looking at? Interesting. You know, Soweto uh, and and affordable markets in general, because that's what we would classify Soweto as emerging and affordable market. This year was actually the first year that the growth rate of those markets uh, superseded the growth rate of the traditional suburbs, the traditional residential areas in South Africa. So it's great to see that the affordable housing market and areas like Soweto are starting to really kick. Yeah. There's a real energy behind the property market there and you're starting to see values increase. And I think there are a number of reasons for that, you know, a lot yeah. more people getting into the market, a lot mm -hmm. more first-time buyers. Uh, the affordability of that market is yeah. unreal compared wow. to other areas in South Africa. Yeah. Uh, to give you an idea, uh, a three-bedroom house in Soweto is under 600,000 Rand what? still. Oh. So there's a real great opportunity to go and get your awesome. piece of South Africa. Yeah, I love it. Now, you mentioned one in four Joburgers potentially living in Soweto. But what type of person am I going to find fitting in there? Well, I mean, one in four, that's a huge yeah. uh, subset of, of Joburgers. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've got young professionals. You've got people working in the city in particular because the arterial routes between uh, Soweto and the center of the city are, are really good. Uh, so it is actually quite a convenient commute for a lot of people going in and out of the city every day. Uh, great opportunity um, for, for people in the buy to let market as well and I think that's interesting. Uh, when you look at Soweto, the fact that you can pick up a house for the price that you yeah. can uh, and place tenants in that house. You're seeing a lot of three-bedroom homes that have maybe two or three tenants letting uh, parts or rooms in the house. Mm -hmm. So great value option for buy-to-let investors. Yeah. Okay, so we, you did touch on it a little bit and we ask this every time we talk about neighborhoods. When it comes to buying or renting, it seems to be really affordable, but what, what should you choose? What, what are the options? Look, it's a really big market and there are lots of opportunities uh, and, and what you often find in a, in a market uh, is a, a large number of people renting as opposed mm. to buying. I think Soweto is the type of market though that if you can afford to, you should be buying, you shouldn't be renting. Uh, the rentals are very close to the cost of ownership in that particular neighbourhood, so it makes sense to go out there, find a home that suits you. Uh, get a bond and, and get involved in the property market. It's got a rich culture, amazing landmarks. Is this an ever-growing neighbourhood? It certainly is. I mean, you know, Soweto's an intrinsic part of the fabric and the history of this country, uh, and I think that charm and that character is something that really uh, comes through in the people that live there. Uh, I think it can sometimes get overlooked in the traditional property market sense, but we definitely need to shine the light on areas like Soweto and the growth that's happening in those areas because there's a, there's a very exciting story to tell there. Yeah. Do we have a very quick Simon Bray tip of the day? <laughs> My tip of the day would be in these affordable markets, buy to let investment uh, is really exciting. So if you're in uh, the market as a property investor, you like to buy, uh, increase your portfolio, well then you have to look at Soweto as an option. Awesome. Don't worry, I'm making mental notes of all of these. <laughs> Thank you so much, Simon, for being with us. Thanks, Talking yeah. about Chis and Yam, I'm hungry just at the <laughs> thought of it. Well, simply log on to www.privateproperty.co.za and let them guide you through the right neighbourhood for you.